Hello, everybody, and welcome to Painting Happy Little Minis Hobby Hangout version. My name is Leona. I'm one of the video editors here. And we have Gretchen, host of Painting Happy Little Minis, and also special guest, Joseph, who's joined us before. Jo Joseph Brassi, author, sci-fi fantasy author, and also mi mini painter now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you all for joining. Great. Yes. <laughs> yeah, welcome. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining. Hello to JT. Good to see you. And also to Jason. Yeah, so if you're joining, let us know you're watching in the chat. So today we're doing Hobby Hangout version uh, because Dave is actually out of town, uh, enjoying time with his family, which we can all appreciate, right? <laughs> I think we can. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. good. <laughs> um, and so we decided that we would just go to our respective places, paint along. So make sure you grab your paints, join along with us, uh, hang with us, and uh, just get cozy with mini painting, I guess. So uh, this evening, Gretchen, what are you going to be painting? All right. So I have this little Spinosaurus figure that I actually got in a Jurassic World swag bag kind of thing. Uh, it was like one of those surprises um, and you didn't know what you were going to get. And I got a Spinosaurus and I think his paint job um, could be improved. So I'm going to do a little repaint of it. He has his mouth moves. It's brilliant. Oh, um, nice. I'm going to do a little repaint of him. And I don't have primer because we live on the wild side here. <laughs> <laughs> do you have like a white or a black you can I, I do but you know he's pretty he's gray oh okay. i feel like that's a pretty neutral color already and this i'm not too concerned about the little bit of orange up here i'm that's more worried fair. about the uh, acrylic sticking to him well but that's it. we live on the wild side we yeah. we just do things yeah and see what happens yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> sounds good yeah so you're Repainting, do you have a color scheme picked out or things that you um, want to do? So part of me is like, man, I could do some flashy fun colors similar to what I did last time, kind of um, evocative of the 90s um, Jurassic Park figures, or right. I could try to make them a little bit more realistic or match the third movie that had the Spinosaurus in it a little bit more. Gotcha. Um, so... Yeah, I'm not too sure. Um, I definitely want to do a probably a darker color than the gray. I was thinking more of like a kind of black or um, maybe little highlights of like blue or something in there. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not like that. Know. We're gonna cool. go on this journey together. I decided this literally ten minutes. I had a dragon mini that I was like, oh, I'm gonna paint this. And then I saw this little guy and I was like, I've been meaning to do this project. Let's do it live. Um, so. Cool. Yes. Awesome. Very my cool. My dinosaur version of Spinosaurus. Okay. That's fine. What's my cutie mark? What's that going to be? He has room <laughs> on there. Decide. <laughs> I have purple. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. I like that. Also, hello to Dave Hummel and also James and Gary. Thank you for joining. And Lucafio, hello. Nice to see you again, Joe. I know you're working hello. on book three of Drifting yes. Lands. Yes, oh, I very am. cool. Looking forward to it. I know it's early, but might but might there be a book four or five? Um, I'm gonna keep tight lipped on that. Um, <laughs> but uh, that is fair. <laughs> There, a lot is going to happen, so. Very cool. Let me see if I can get this. So, uh, Joe, what are you painting tonight? I am working on this little uh, archer guy that I got from a friend a couple of years back. Um, and I am going to go with a, I'm going to go with a little more garish color scheme than I did with the last guy, so. You know, picking I'm picking the small ones and, and doing the tiny brush things. So this will be interesting. Cool. That's awesome. What are you doing, Leona? Um, I am just going to be monitoring chat today and stuff like that. So I don't actually have my paints out with me. 
Yeah. I got that. I got that. <laughs> Boo. Boo. Jeff Goldblum's head is the cutie mark, Gretchen. Uh, you're asking so much of me. I'm going to try to deliver it because I feel like I owe it to you and Jeff. But wow. I just want you to know that you are asking so much of me. <laughs> That is fair. So those of you who are watching, um, what are you guys painting? Let us know in the chat. We have some, so we have a Facebook group that's so, oh, sorry. My brain is jumping like 10 different places. We have some fun news. We've reached 2000 members of our painting Happy Little Meanies oh. group Ooh. on Facebook. Were we do something about that when that happened? I, yeah, we were. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I like the kid in the class who reminds the teacher there was homework. Who's <laughs> <Here's> your homework? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, that's really an exciting uh, number for us. So congrats to our Painting Happy Luminis group, 2,000 members. And it's great because when we hit 1,000, we then lost like all these members that Facebook removed as like illegitimate profiles. But that didn't happen for 2,000. <laughs> Excellent. So we, have a, real. we have a lot of real members, real people. Um, if you're interested in joining, if you, a lot of people in the chat already are part of it. But um, yeah, I just wanted to say like, that's super fun. We did it. Ah, that's awesome. That's Very exciting. Am I enjoying the new place? Yes, I am. I have Recently, in my personal life, I moved, and that's why my setup changed, uh, which is uh, really nice. And also, where is Dave? Good question. So Dave is on vacation with his family. We allowed him to do that. We let him out <laughs> of the basement. We yeah. him to wreak havoc upon the world and lick all the paints. His and dungeons. Yeah. <laughs> I just imagine him like just hiding little minis places. Yeah. Huh. Little scavenger hunts. Maybe that's uh, what I should do for 20K. Like I hide 20K minis. No, I'm just joking. I do, oh, I God. Do oh, God. Oh, God. And take 2,000 photos. Here's, okay. Here's my idea. Once conventions come back into yeah. safety, um, I think we should hide miniatures at conventions. Ooh. That actually oh, sounds that actually sounds really cool. Like That's in some little places. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I just a little a little something to look out for. Like those people who hide rocks that people paint. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yes, that actually sounds really cool. Yeah. I like this. Except I many. like this. I think that would be fun. And is it kind of like you collect them all or like you find them all or so, no, with the rocks that people paint, they it's paint like the rocks find one and, and then, then you find them and then you paint one and hide it. And they have like a Facebook where they, you can leave clues as to where you've hidden the rocks for us. I think if like a convention setting, we can be like, Oh, here's where, you know, here's a little clue for all the ones and they can just, yay, we found one. <laughs> cool. That yeah, actually sounds really that. awesome. I think that would work. What do people in the chat think? Would that be fun? <laughs> when, when it's back to being safety times. Like, yeah, exactly. Also, listen, hello to Betsy. Thanks for joining. Got a lot of time on my hands to just think about fun, weird things to do. <laughs> Convention scavenger hunt show. Yeah. Oh, that would be fun, too, to put them at different, like, board game booths and stuff. Like, see if you can collect them all. JT it's said like a real life trophy battle. It's a like real life what? Like Pokemon. Oh, yeah, <laughs> true, true, true. <laughs> JT said, I have 15 Blight Lord Terminators on my desk that I am working through. Ooh, very nice. Wow, that's that's a that's a hefty. Did we see one? I think we saw one last week. The Blight Lords. Also, James said, I have my Bones 5 coming this Friday. So, yeah, fun, exciting thing. Bones 5 released and people are receiving that. So that's uh, the Reaper miniatures line, and there's lots of new, fun, exciting stuff. Was that a Kickstarter? I feel like I'm out of the loop. I think I think Reaper Bones was a Kickstarter, yeah. Yeah, you're right. It was. So people are finally receiving them, which is fun and exciting. One of these days, I will get one of those proper fancy model holders. 
<laughs> no, we have we have many. I think I, I have actually a few. We just ship one to you. That sounds absolutely lovely. <laughs> yeah, honestly, we could. We have like five of them. <laughs> That we always forget to use. Yeah, I put them. I put them out every week. I put them out for Dave and Gretchen, and every week they do not use them. It's not true. Sometimes they do use them. Many times the minis that we paint are pretty big. So, um, mm. yeah, it all it all depends on what we're painting. If it fits in them versus like how the angles are. Yeah. Um, and like how, yeah, like where you want to paint on the mini, like if you're constantly having to like hold it upside down, like that can be annoying. Yeah. Uh, Lucafio said an Easter egg hunt at a con kind of thing with a golden mini. <laughs> that oh would my goodness. be fun. That would be, that would be so much fun. Like you just put one like really fancy one out there. <laughs> that would be great. I like this. I would have so much. We could we could uh, stream us hiding them, like just like the the behind the scenes, like true, but not actually show where we hide them because that would be right, like clues. <laughs> right, but like okay, we're here. Yeah, I mean, we have a whole set. What else is Johnny gonna do other than follow <laughs> around the camera and acting shenanigans? That's good. <laughs> That's a good point. Betsy said, I only started this hobby just before co the COVID shutdown. Wow, Betsy, I just want to say, like, you're really good. <laughs> because I don't know if you remember, Gretchen, but Betsy's painted the Horizon Zero Dawn figures. Oh, yeah. That are, like, the animal creatures. Uh, so I can't wait to go to a convention sometime. Yeah, conventions are really fun. And there's, like, the last one we went to, they even had, like, a painting class that you could be part of on the floor, which was really cool. Um, I don't know if you remember that, Gretchen. Wait, um, I don't know, I know if you were there. Might not <laughs> I, don't have been there. I don't remember. It was PAX Unplugged. Did you come to PAX? <laughs> Usually I'm at PAX. Usually whenever I'm okay. at convention, so I'm like contained to a room talking to everyone. <laughs> we were on the floor that at PAX. So you were like on the game. Well, then I would be contained floor. to the booth talking to everyone. Yeah. So I usually have back to back to back to back interviews. It was with Tommy Simba. Anyway, I'm yeah, talking yeah, about I remember now. Tommy. Yes, <laughs> okay. yes, I was there. I interviewed him. He was part of, we did the My Little Ponies. <laughs> yes, yes, you did. We painted minis. For context for anybody, we painted My Little Pony minis. We actually, like, the uh, ones that WizKids came out with. So. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Also, hello to Tim. Hi, guys. How goes it today? James is working on four pirate ships. Yeah. How's it going for everyone? Sorry, Joe. I've been like talking this whole time. Oh, don't worry. I'm focusing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> for everyone who maybe uh, hasn't, wasn't here when uh, Joseph was here last, Joseph is a friend of Gretchen's and also a writer and author. Uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about like who you are yeah. and sure. what you do? Who are um, you? Who are you? <laughs> Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? <laughs> yeah, I was, I was just about to go into the Les Mis thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm there. <laughs> um, so I am a fantasy sci -fiction, science fiction author and uh, sword instructor. Um, I do have been doing historical European martial arts for, God, uh, 13 years. Um, I've, been, I've been writing professionally for... Uh, Nine years now? Yeah, nine, about nine or ten years now. Um, I am the author. I'm, I worked on the uh, Mongoliad books uh, for 47 North with um, a number of other authors. Uh, and I, uh, my series, uh, The Drifting Lands, uh, is out. The first book is Skyfarer. The uh, second book is Dragon Road. You can get those on Amazon. You can get them anywhere books are sold. And I'm working on a third one uh, that is tentatively titled Prince of Clay. Um. Cool. And it's uh, they are they're very much uh, they're very much high fantasy in a in a big sky with floating islands and 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 there's sword fighting and magic and found family and adventure and it's it's very much it's it's very much the uh, uh, I, I am I am writing by mashing action figures together um, <laughs> so. Gotcha. 
Yeah, it's so a very it's cool. A... And you maybe have more books coming, or maybe I don't know. We see. Uh, we yep, I, <laughs> yeah, we have. Uh, I have. Yeah, uh, yeah. Prince of Clay is 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 the. I won't go into too much detail about what is and isn't coming after that. I have a couple things in the pipeline, things I can't talk about and um, very much want to talk about, but it's like, you know, rules. Yep. Nope, that's fine. Um, but yeah, I, it's, 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 it's good. Painting quivers is hard. <laughs> I think I picked a menu. I picked a menu with a whole bunch of little bits and bobs on him. He's got more got more bobs on him than like a Pathfinder art character. <laughs> That's fun. Yep. You should have seen the guy that Gretchen painted a couple weeks ago. He was Oh, the Frost Giant. The frost oh. Giant. Oh, I saw the I saw the Frost Giant. I was bobs. <laughs> so many pieces. Yeah, this guy. I was kind of afraid of how contrast paints would uh, work on this dude, this little, mm -hmm. this little guy. But um, I'm actually pleasantly surprised. It's taking a little bit longer to dry, but I kind of really like that more. Like, can you can you see? Kind of, maybe. Wait, there, there we go. go. So you can kind of see. Oh yeah. Them. Um, oh, yeah. I like that it's not drying as quickly because it's not as opaque, and I can really build up an almost like watercolor airbrushed effect. Mm. I'm like, that's nice. I like this. I'm just not ever going to paint the uh, sail on him so I can just keep holding him from it. <laughs> last <laughs> thing, paint that last. <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh, Jason was saying that. He has a bunch of WizKid Raptors that I'm thinking he was thinking of painting in the color scheme from Lego Movie 2 Raptors. I gonna have to look that one up. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, well, they do have uh, Lego Raptors based off of the Jurassic World ones. So I don't know if those are the ones in the movie, but just saying those have distinct markings. Ah, uh, let's see here. I'm glad I don't have any ambition to give this guy eyes. <laughs> <laughs> My primer kind of robbed him of that. That's fair. Tim Patterson says, I challenge this whole stream to a sword fight. <laughs> <laughs> Pay my airfare. <laughs> <laughs> you got yourself a deal. Just, I think Tim's, oh, just, yeah. I think Tim's in Virginia, I think. <laughs> well, you know, at least you can beat one person, a.k.a. me. I've never held a sword in my life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ah, stupid oh, alarm. Okay. That's ah. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I, well, I knew you did sword things, Tim. I just didn't know where. <laughs> also, in terms of mini halters, uh, jo Joseph, mm -hmm. James was saying that he makes his own mini holder. Uh, and uh, Betsy, Betsy uses pill bottles and sticky tack for a holder. Oh, okay. I think, that I think James might do something similar. That sounds cool. I, I I'll have to uh, I'll have to try that. Maybe or even a double sided tape and a pill bottle or shot glass can work as a mini holder. Okay. Here we go. Double sided tape sounds intriguing. What color should I make his belly? He's blue. He's no okay. longer gray. He's now kind of like a nice navy. Not a navy. Say like a teal. He looks very shiny. More like a teal, yeah. Okay. What should we do for the belly? Hmm. The Color for the belly. Put it in the chat if you want. Uh, give us some recommendations for. Yeah, Christine. he's still he's he's still a little tacky. So no Jeff Goldblum yet. You just have to hold on to that that vision. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> 
that's great. Uh, I'll get there. I'll get there. It'll happen. I, I think I have all the right colors to be able to attempt a Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm excited. Uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Lucafio says, I picked up the first two drifting ends when Joe was here last. A well-written great read. I suggest to anyone who enjoys sci-fi fantasy. Very cool. Oh, thank you very much. Purple belly. That means a lot. I do happen to have Mago's purple here, so we'll do it. Pink, pink, purple. It's a pinky purple. That's like a compromise between the two. All right. Sword hilt time. <laughs> I'd rather. So, okay, in my brain, I'm an Italian long sword instructor. I didn't know what Italian was describing, and that. <laughs> Italian longsword, not yes. I'm. And there so I was there, like, that's interesting. You have to specify that. And then I was like, oh, <laughs> it's an Italian longsword, yes. not so, instructor. <laughs> there's two really popular manuscripts styles for longsword. There's Italian and gotcha. there's German. And I study Lichtenauer, which is Same. German. He studies Lichtenauer, which is German. And Tim studies. Italian stuff. <laughs> I can appreciate that. <laughs> Ooh, oh. just if you want the pink to pop, undercoat it with yellow. All right. That's I handy. have colors. I can do that. And Betsy even said yellow belly. Yeah. Let's see. I got, I got a nice yellow here. I got yellow and I got pink. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Ted Marazzo. Awesome. <laughs> Hello, Turkey Muffin. Thanks for catching the first stream live Ooh, i hope you enjoy yeah we are in our houses painting minis so normally we would be in studio but um today we're kind of doing a remote version of that called hobby hangout so we're just chatting about minis and mini painting and things to oh i also want to tell you joseph two other people said a bottle cap for a mini paint okay holder and also iron cork iron cork okay well. so it's like Anything in your house that's like small and cylindrical. <laughs> okay. Maybe nice. a the bottom of a flashlight. <laughs> that's tempting. Bottom of a flashlight. I'll just I'll just use a mag light. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> there, you go. there you go. Anything. So which color are you going with, Gretchen? Well, I'm going to do the yellow first because that's opposite on the color wheel. And then I might go in with some of that purpley pink uh, just to see how well it actually pops because now I'm curious um, to see what would happen if I put that over. Cool. So we're going to we're going to see. We're going to play. That what better sounds time, excellent. Yeah. What better time to experiment and play than on the show because I do it all the time. <laughs> Um, yeah, we'll find out what happens. There we go. Let's make a nice. So, Joseph, step. how has your painting journey been going? The last time well, you painted your first mini. Yeah. Um, so I since since then I have worked on and actually just about completed my. Little owl bear here. Oh, awesome! Just which is based on a which is based on the colors of a cardinal. Oh, very cool! Yeah. Oh, it's turning out great. Yeah, it came out. It came out pretty good. I, I still need to give it the coat of the of sealant, and I need to just like do some little touch ups on it. But I decided I wanted to work on the archer today because I wanted to torment myself. <laughs> um, Oh no. <laughs> That's okay. It's just there's so many there's so many bits and bobs. And think about how many bits and bobs there would be on this thing. I never think about how many bits and bobs are on a mini until I'm like three weeks in. And then I just give it away to someone else and I go, It's your problem now. <laughs> Do you want to complete my mistakes? No one's complained yet. I just, well, I mean, free mini. <laughs> uh, 
my owl bear status. Uh, Jason was asking about that. I can, if people be interested. I would just have to leave for a second and get the owl. Oh, I don't even know where the owl bear is. <laughs> I will post a uh, owl bear later because I don't have it with me at this moment. Also, hello to Sean. Thanks for joining. And Ragamuffin said they're gonna catch this on quick so they can see the rest of the chat. Yeah, some of the um. Because we do StreamYard, it's a little harder to see all the chat. Normally, Restream like sends the chat to everybody. But I think James says I paint archers all the time. Well, James, do you have any tips to paint the quivers? <laughs> we would appreciate that. Let's see here. All right, that's turning out interesting. I need to remember to have patience. Because um, <laughs> it's not drying very quickly. Especially um, with uh, contrast paint. I know, and I love it for that. I love working with contrast paint. I just don't have a whole lot of patience. Um, I should. Mood. Mood. James says for your quivers, mm -hmm. he said use needles. <laughs> one, oh, dot one dot at a time. Oh, boy. Okay, I will remember that for the next time I have. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I mean, that's a good tip. I know mm. um, not necessarily needles, but like pins, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. Especially pins that have the like round plastic dot at the end. Those are great because then you have better grip. Because that's the only thing with needles is they're like can fall. So Restream only works in studio. Yeah. So the way that we connect through, um, it works better to use StreamYard to like connect almost like a chat. That's why. Okay. That makes sense. We don't use the same platform. I'm just going to give this man a good old plate knees. Oh, here we go. Tim says, underpaint the quiver in a grayscale, then hit it with contrast okay. leather color. Or you can mix other contrast colors if you want a colored leather. Okay, thank you. That's handy. Because then I guess the contrast will help. Yeah, and contrast is a brand, just so you know, Joseph. I don't okay, know gotcha. Brand, okay. Contrast paint is like a specific brand of paint, and it kind of allows you not to have to. It's do, thinner. Yeah, it's thinner, so it kind of falls okay. into the crevices, but also um, doesn't hit the, the highlights as much. So sometimes you don't have to go back in and do like highlighting as much. Okay. Yeah, I definitely, I enjoy, um, I enjoy it a lot um, for, because I'm used to working with watercolors and I mm -hmm. think that it gives me more control over painting that I'm accustomed to. Um, I definitely think there's times when it's not, when the um, sheerness of it is not exactly what you're looking for or the thinness of it, but mm -hmm. um, I would totally suggest uh, trying it out to see if it's something that you like working with because okay. uh, I really love them. Um, they are much thinner. They're kind of like a mix between a, like an ink and a paint. Okay. They're not quite at ink level, but they're, um, they're much thinner. Um, and All right. And sheer. So you can really build up a lot more color. That is a very good to know. A lot more gradients. Um, but they're still bright, because as you can see, his belly is yellow. Oh, yes. Yeah, and they give you good coverage. Yeah. Um, but... Yeah, James says it's like almost a wash. It's not, yeah. as you said, Gretchen, it's like almost, but not... It's like a paint and shade in one. Yeah. Because of the way it like falls into the crevices, it 
it, you don't really have to go back in and do shading. Yeah, it really brings out on really textured things it's nice to use because it just yeah. goes straight into all of the um, crevices of those textures. Okay. And Sean says, I use contrast to do terrain, which I know. Oh, that's cool. Do As Gretchen said, because, you know, terrain has lots of texture, so it works really well. Let's see here. Time to, I think I will make his arms red. Yes. There's a citadel um, brand. Yes, they are citadel. They are the citadel brand. <laughs> nice. Here, I'll, I'll show Gretchen's. Da -da -da. Yeah. Oh, yeah. nice. Okay. There we go. I can. <laughs> I don't know everything about mini paints, but if those watching, it does. Are there multiple versions of contrast paint? I assumed only Citadel made contrast paint. <laughs> I could be wrong, but. Um, I say Citadel does make different kinds of contrast paint. There's a, a dry kind of version. It's just called uh, um, that's like textured. And then there's uh, the yellow that I used is actually a lot more opaque. Oh, um, okay. Tim says I've been deep diving into contrast, and the underpaint is the most important part of using it, as you will see through each layer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you build it up, build it up, build it up, build it up. Tim was talking about having a Zenithal prime, which means like you at you actually do like two primes, one for the deep coat and then another one with where the sun is. And that's really helpful when you use contrast because then it basically you don't have to go back in and do as much highlighting. Okay, that's that's useful to know. It's especially helpful when you do armies and like lots of paint for the same figure. Um, mm. When you're doing just like maybe one, you know, one off guy, like if you were doing an army of archers, for example, you, mm -hmm. would, you would maybe want to do Zenithal priming, then it would minimize the amount of time you have to spend <laughs> painting each, every quiver or whatever, like you would already yeah. have something there. There we go. Let's see how this purple does. Oh yeah, someone else had asked earlier, I've kind of skipped over it, but they said, how are we doing with Elsa the storm moving away? Oh, um, um, we're here. Elsa's still here to stay. I don't know about, <laughs> like she's still here turn and rain which makes actually a lot of sense like honestly i haven't um been paying attention to the weather and yesterday all of a sudden it was like really stormy and there was all these tree branches in the road <laughs> and i was like wow it's almost like a harsh storm and then i looked online and they're like tropical storm <laughs> we had a bit of like um kind of rough weather for a little bit earlier today, but uh, honestly, it, the weather's been fine currently. Yeah, the weather's fine now. It was like pouring down rain earlier. Yeah, Sean says it's pouring up here. Not too bad. Also, we have a question. Did Joseph say he was painting your that mini for a friend? Uh, no, it was given to me by a friend. Oh, cool. It was just, it was just like here, have a, have a yeah, free mini. Um, so I decided I'd make it beautiful. Very nice. Do you have any more plans to paint other minis? Um, yeah, I have, I have, I have some, I have some stuff. I actually have some Hero Forge uh, ones. Oh, very uh, cool. I got. I got some bronze hero forge ones a while back that I've been wanting to take a crack at, but I just haven't had a lot of it. A lot of the reason I haven't done a ton of painting since last time is that, uh, it, I, I have, my wife is currently working in the office right now. Um, and having my paints out around my children, around my yeah. four year old and eight year old is a little fraught. So 
that is fair. <laughs> so I have not been getting as much time, dedicated time to, you know, to get the, to, to hit the brushes as I would like. But at the same time, yeah, I would, I would like to do, uh, I would like, I would like to do some, some more ambitious stuff at some point. Um, I think it'd be really cool to try my hand at a dragon eventually. Um, that's a bit much for where I'm at right now. That's the first sure. thing they had me paint on the show. Oh my goodness. <laughs> first ever mini. <laughs> dragon. I think one of my first minis was a dragon too that I painted. I'm actually starting to think that the bigger ones are a little easier than the smaller ones. Or for certain values of easy. Yeah, and especially a dragon is nice or some sort of animal kind of like that where you don't really have to wor worry about bit bits and bobs at all. <laughs> like, he has his yeah. claws and his teeth. Other than that, like, and maybe the spines. Okay, maybe uh. it's more than I <laughs> There, it, it's hap I think it's because it's an organic creature, so you can be very happy little trees about it. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's That's nature, true. and yeah. and things in nature aren't always perfect. No, that makes total sense. So that's why I like them. <laughs> Tim says, "Don't feel bad. My first mini was a forty k night." <laughs> yeah. Oh boy! Oh boy! That's uh. Lots of bits and bobs. Lots of bits and bobs. The, I guess the nights are. I always think of the librarians and they mm -hmm. have a lot of stuff. Mm. Honestly, every 40K mini has a lot. I don't think there's any 40K mini that's like, oh, here's an easy mini. <laughs> <laughs> At least that's my interpretation. Please prove me wrong. <laughs> Let's see here. All right. Oh, that that was too much. That's what okay. color are you using now, Gretchen? So I am using that pinky purple, um, and I was not patient enough for the yellow to finish drying, but that's okay. Oh, no. We we blend here. That's what we do. Um, so I'm going to be patient and let it uh, dry a little bit and then go back over with the yellow to make it kind of pop out more. But... With that pink, I did it a little bit on the belly. I don't know if you can actually, if it's bright enough. So you can see where it's wet. <laughs> that little shiny mm -hmm. right? That's where it's wet. Oh, That's where the okay. Um, and kind of put it in the deeper bits, uh, flushy bits, kind of almost okay. like, um, like the, where, where the skin would line. blush. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that's cool and i think that ended up looking very nice i'll probably end up using it on his sail um quite a bit once that dries and i'm not avoiding painting the sail at all cost <laughs> but but yeah i'm gonna go back over i'm gonna make that yellow um a little bit uh tidier um it actually looks better on camera because it's so Blended, but it's going to be tidy. Uh, and then I guess I'll try my darndest to paint Jeff Goldblum's face. Um. That sounds fantastic. It really does. I, I, think, <laughs> I think you should absolutely do this and just go full. We're going to absolutely need a reference picture. Just commit to the bit. I do. No one, no one ever thinks that I commit to the bit. I don't. I don't understand why no one ever takes me seriously when no, I don't no, I, again. I do. I do. Well, that's because I, I sent you a fortune cookie. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> it was a good fortune cookie. But people learn. They learn. Let's see. It's this yellow. Oh, 
So what's everyone up to this weekend? Uh, first get together with some other vaccinated people um, with kids. We'll allow my children to play with other children for the first time in probably Yay. over a year. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. awesome. Oh, so they're some social skills. <laughs> they are very excited. Uh, they have thankfully might like I again I mentioned I have a son and a daughter, so they have act, they have had each other to keep company this past pandemic. Um, but yeah, it's been it's definitely been a, a, a ride, and uh, they are they tire of one another, shall I say? <laughs> Quickly. So it'll be good to have. It'll be good to have other kids to for them to. For them to play with and i'm i'm gonna get to see gonna get to see some friends i haven't seen in a while which will be really nice yay that's awesome i am doing something some well i don't have children but um i'm seeing a friend who is also vaccinated and we're gonna we haven't seen each other honestly like six months before covid happened <laughs> so, oh wow like, it's been like so long. <laughs> so I'm really excited. We're going to get together and hang out. And that sounds lovely. Just enjoy good company. <laughs> How about you, Gretchen? Do you have plans for this I, weekend? I do have plans for this weekend. It is my birthday weekend. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Happy birthday. Happy, happy, yeah. birthday. happy almost birthday. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, my fiance surprised me with uh, hotel reservations at the beach. Oh, oh that's very fun. Lovely. So, um, that's hopefully, no one will be there because of Elsa. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually uh, true. And we can just avoid everyone because um, we're still doing social distancing pretty much. But um, I think it'll be fun and uh, I'm excited and yeah. So we'll see if Dave still calls me, calls me the youngin now, cause I'm turning 30. Ah, yeah. especially here. Very nice. So I actually have to hop off in a second here. Oh yes, um, yes, no problem. I have some, I have uh, some other, some a prior engagement that I have to that I have to get to. But oh, well, it's about the podcast. Yes, it is the podcast. Oh, uh, authors, it is. Uh, I'm recording a podcast uh, called Authors and Dragons. That is, uh, we record every Thursday night. Our episodes drop every Wednesday night. Um, it's a comedy fantasy podcast of a bunch of us nerdy ass authors playing D and D and uh, and and the shenanigans that ensue. Um, cool. Yeah. Authors, authors and dragons. Um, and it's, it's a good time. Yay. Yeah, that's awesome. check it out. I put the link in the chat for anybody who's interested in authors and dragons. I also put uh, Joe's um, author link at all. If you want to check out his books, thank you so much for joining the stream and just kind of, yeah, thank you for having me. Us. This was <laughs> really lovely. You had time to paint your your other mini. Yeah, so. I'll I'll show his I'll show my progress here before I go. Sure. Yeah. Um, it's about it's about where where Very it's nice. at at the moment. So excellent. Get, get over on the back. All Good right. Stuff. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining. Everyone, say hey, bye, everyone. Joe. Bye. <laughs> Good to bye. see you. Good to see you again. Woohoo! Now oh, it's right. girl stream. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I did um, miss some people in the chat. They were chatting. Um, my first mini was painted in 1992, Ralph Hartha Orc Boss. I recently tracked down a new one to redo it for Orktober. Oh, that's cool. That's fun. Betsy said, I'll be playing Terraforming Mars with friends on Saturday. Awesome. I still need to play that game. That is a board game that is a little bit long, but I think it should be super fun. Uh, I haven't had people over for a game night in quite a while. And I I have a lot of games. <laughs> but yeah. I am I'm prepared. I am like, all right, as soon as soon as we can, we're gonna they're not prepared for 
for anything, but I'm competitive. I so. would agree with that. I, I also have quite a few games um, that I've picked up since COVID started and uh, haven't really played them with anybody. <laughs> They've just been sitting on my shelf, but it's all good. Apparently, uh, where Lukafia lives, it's going to turn 100 degrees at least this weekend. Woo. We had a couple uh, very high 90s, 100 degree weather spurts, uh, like what, last week? Two yeah. weeks ago? We did. Yeah. It hurt a little. <laughs> Look, I'm so near my. Uh, so sorry, Gretchen, but when you're so near my son's age, you will always be a young kid. <laughs> and my mom says the same thing. It's good. <laughs> you will always be a young kid. Nice game. Yeah, I agree. Also, hello, Sumki. Thanks for joining. Dave's Thursday and Friday are my weekend. Saturday is my Monday. <laughs> so working. That's what I'm doing this week. Trying not to die from the heat and, and dealing with angry passengers. Yeah, that's fair. That is fair. Gave me a game night, question mark. Ooh, game trade media game night. That could work. That's pretty good idea. I like that idea. That's not a bad idea. I do like playing games. I also like playing games. I'm pretty sure we know several other people who like playing games. <laughs> It might have something to do with all of us working at the same company that likes games, yeah. but I'm not too sure about that. We're not sure. We're not sure. Uh, James said, I'm playing Pathfinder this Sunday. Very cool. Speaking of board games, does anybody have like a favorite board game or a board game that you played recently that you would like to recommend? Um, because I'm always in the... What's the word? I'm always in the... Saying, always want to know more. Yeah. I'm always, always curious. Always ready for a new board game. Also, don't mind me. I'm looking up Jeff Goldblum uh, faces on my phone. That's awesome. <laughs> so I can properly try to um, capture his likeness. For those who maybe have just joined us um, and didn't realize, uh, Gretchen is repainting a... Um, Dinosaur, dragon, a dinosaur. A dinosaur. And you are going to make a cutie mark, basically, of Jeff Goldblum's face, right? <laughs> That's so the goal. I was told. Um we're we're gonna try. So that's what's we're trying to be attempted hard. at the moment. You know what I think, Gretchen? Honestly, mm -hmm. like if you're able, you know how sometimes they make those faces that they don't actually have any features. They just have like, yeah, like, kind of like, like, like Dave's shirt. I'm yes. thinking if you get the gray hair with like the white streak and then also his glasses and like thin face, you that might be. Hey, Jeff Goldblum, or if I find something illustrated of him. Oh, that's a good maybe idea. Maybe a little bit more illustrative in, in how it, um. I'm pulling up some weird things on my phone, guys. <laughs> okay. Just regretting my decision immensely. Um, okay, here's one that's not horrible. Uh, eh. So like here is a pin that I found. Oh, there we go. That's kind of like what I'm looking for. Something, yeah. It's a little bit more complex than I think you would even have to do, but like you kind of see his nose. And here, I'll send this to you. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna try. Oh, I found one that's even like his face from. It's like a little icon version of his face, and it's emoji. It's an emoji of his face. Oh, perfect. Um, Perfect. And it's from it's specifically based off his character from Jurassic Park. So we're gonna oh there we go we're gonna attempt. I make no promises. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. I feel I, I you know I'm kind of excited too. We'll see where this goes. We'll see where this takes us. Um, that's awesome. I am looking forward to it. Sumki has been having fun with Heroes of Terranoth. And also started playing Betrayal Legacy. Very cool. Ooh. I still haven't played Betrayal. 
I, but I have it. <laughs> and every time I go to a new place, so like the last two or three weeks, I've met up with um, a friend and we've gotten together and played games. And I, I bring that game every time and we still have not played it. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> so one day I'll play. Uh, Gray says, Cards Against Humanity, family version. And he found a card game based on the old PC game, Oregon Trail. Oh, very cool. Ooh, that sounds fun. Do you know they're making a show with uh, Daniel Radcliffe? About oh, yeah. Is, is it, is it kind of like Oregon Trail? Yeah, no, it's. I think it's based off of the old game. Okay. Um... But definitely like a much more uh, adult humor version. Yeah, I saw the trailer for that and I thought that looked really funny, but also like, I don't know, it was Daniel Radcliffe. And it was, I was being just really like, weird. What is happening in this show? Like, I don't know if I could watch a whole season of it, probably like one or two episodes. Um, Betsy says, some of my favorite games are Dune, Gaia Project, Scythe, and Tapestry. Awesome. Those are really good. I, my cousins have Scythe, and my hope is to play that sometime this summer. Sean says, the last game I played was 40K. Nice. Very good. I have going to turn out really great or really horrible, and I hope you are all just so properly prepared. <laughs> yeah, I think we're ready. <laughs> but as James says, Gretchen, you always do a good job, which is true, you do. <laughs> so I appreciate all of your enthusiasm. Whatever it will be, it will be great. Oh, it will be something. It, it will, will be something. There's Disney Villainous. That's a fun one. I played that one last year. I don't think I have any black, which is going to be a problem. Oh, no. That is I thought I did. I thought I did have black. I might have to make a do with a dark gray. <laughs> um, I can mix blue and brown and get something that is... Almost black. We're just going to have to get creative. Get creative. JT said, I might get into some Marvel Champions LCG this weekend. Very cool. Has that released any new packs recently? I wonder. I haven't seen that. I have no idea. You know what I have seen, though, speaking of Marvel, is the new Loki series. I'm not up to date on the latest episode, but I have been watching it. Me um, too. And it's the one series I've been watching. <laughs> Well, I realize I'm always late to the game. I'm always every me single too. time with the Mandalorian. Everyone watched it before oh, yeah. me, oh, and yeah. all the other ones. Everything was so. I I was like, we are, we are gonna watch it. Um, I've been having fun with it though. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. Oh man. Oh man. Like, okay. I have been enjoying it, but there have been some moments in the story where I. Like, especially the episode that you probably just watched. It was, like, the fourth one, right? Yeah. Um, that was the one where I was like, hmm, there's just some plot things where they're just marveling their way through. <laughs> I call it marveling because it's basically, like, we need this plot point to happen. So we're just going to make it. <laughs> we're just gonna Even though it doesn't oh, really yeah. make sense. <laughs> like, the character, like... The characters are like, just anyway, it's fine. I'm enjoying the show for what it is. Um, but it's definitely, I do laugh a lot at some of the lines. <laughs> but it's all good. Oh, Sumki asks, does Harry Potter get dysentery on the trail? Yeah, which is kind of the vibe I got from that um, series. Like, going back to that. Uh, Tim says, over the weekend, I got to play a six-player game of Twilight Imperium. Oh, my goodness. Did that take you, like, 72 hours? <laughs> Was that the whole week? <laughs> Just for reference, Gretchen, that game, like, can take a really long time and is huge. 
it's like risk but on like steroids <laughs> so whew. um gary said i played gaslands last weekend very cool and yes i did make a youtube video about villainous and it was a fun game dice throne is fun too you know i haven't picked up dice throne that was one that was a uh, popular a couple years ago but haven't wrapped around to that Oh, and JT said, yes, there are still packs going for the LCG game that he was talking about. Mm -hmm. And it's Star-Lord and Gamora. Very cool. Okay. I'm glad they're keeping that up. 14 hours, guys. Can we just <laughs> talk about how Tim played a game for 14 hours? Maybe not straight, but like... Okay. We'll move on from that. I cannot sit down and play a board game for 14 hours. More power to you, but <laughs> not a board game. Yeah, and that's a quick game. It's true. And that's a quick game of Twilight Imperium. <laughs> These are the facts. And Sean said, I finally got to see WandaVision and binged Loki last weekend. Very cool. Do you have a favorite character, Gretchen? Speaking of Loki. Um, do I have a favorite character? In Loki. In Loki specifically, yeah. Um, mm, I don't know. I am. I am a big fan. I haven't met the other Loki variants yet because that's okay, the yeah. episode. Yeah, I think um, it is. It is. Yeah. I, I have a feeling I'm gonna like alligator Loki. <laughs> Just like the song of my people. Um, <laughs> but. Yeah. I don't know. I'm a I'm a fan of Loki and ex like himself as a character. Um, I think that he's a very interesting character when he's like written. He he gives a lot to the to if you like write him well, then he's really yes. entertaining. And I like how you have the option to just either write him as a classic villain or as more of this like anti-hero kind of deeper layered character. Um, yeah. A lot of a lot of fun with that. Um, and I and I like how they kind of delve into that, into the Loki series. Um, they give him onions. He's like Shrek. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody got layers. <laughs> like a parfait. Yeah. Uh, but still yeah. makes less Loki you go forever. <laughs> no. Oh um, man, every time I'm like, mm. <laughs> no, um, it's been, I agree with you. It's been really good. I think uh, they, the, the, actor what's his name tom huddleston's playing him well yes. right tom huddleston. yeah and, and his writing uh, is good too his lines are, are fun yeah and then i like i want to like owen wilson's character mobius i want to so yeah. bad but sometimes he's just like slightly too mean for me just for the sake of being mean. oh yeah and i'm like i would like you more if you were like either 100 percent a jerk or not right. at all a jerk. Or if he but like played I, I it like, off a little bit more. Yeah, but he doesn't. And I'm like, oh, oh, okay. We don't we don't know if because I don't know. I feel like it's kind of like um you can't like fuss at Loki for being untruthful and a jerk when you yourself are like, here's a nightmare chamber. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Or like, you know, work for an organization that, you know, has been pruning children. Like I or attempting to. Uh, you know, so Yeah. Like that's how I feel about that character. I want to because he had me at like quirky office man who likes jet skis. You know what? Not oh, even Casey. Casey, wielder Casey. of all the desk infinity stones. I <sighs> Oh Not, yeah, yes. that was the guy so who great. doesn't know what a fish is. That's my favorite character. That's so the guy great. who doesn't know what a fish is. I feel like that is just <laughs> prime, prime writing. I want to know. I want to meet the person who put that line in there. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, that was that was a good one. And and also the line about the jet ski, how it's like this you know, machine of perfect. Yeah. Um, it's a perfect combination of machine and design or whatever. I agree. That was funny. Also, hello to Josh Potter. Thanks for joining, but also at work. Wah. 
All right, I'm gonna try to mix black again because I have the very basics down, but okay. I don't have his hair. And that's the iconic bit. So right yes. now he looks like, like a little bald man, little beetle bald man. <laughs> the opposite of Jeff Goldblum. Um, and he, he doesn't look like the Jeff Goldblum we know and love. He's not, not super charming in that. But we're gonna, I'm gonna mix up some black. We're, we're gonna fix it. We're gonna add the hair and we are gonna make the magic happen. Also, Betsy said, that sounds good, Gretchen. I'm excited. Uh, Betsy said that they should be getting Horizon Zero Dawn expansions next week, which is very exciting Ooh. for the miniatures game, I assume. Um, that's awesome. Because then that means more cool painting <laughs> that we get to see. Silver Age Loki is the goat. I agree. Radcliffe in the third season of Miracle Workers Oregon Trail looks fun. Yep. That's, yep, we were, that's what we were referencing. Oh yeah, and 14 hours, it sounds like a D&D &D game. I agree. Oh, hey, look at the time. Let us look at some minis from our Perfect. group. How does that sound? Well, Gretchen is mixing hair color. Yes. <laughs> so I'm gonna dye my hair. Lots of minis and not so many minis. <laughs> That's um, I, fair. I think it's actually working okay. I think I think it's actually Yay. gonna be it's gonna be something. Cool, 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 cool. Let me actually do the thing. Okay, cool. So um many of you know you might not, but we have a painting happy little minis group excitingly drum roll please we have 2000 members which is awesome Ta -da! we made it guys 20k i mean 2k <laughs> almost 40k no just joking uh so people post their minis and we talk talk about them we just like to see what's going on in our community and man people showed up this week like i asked and everybody was posting on that um announcement which is awesome i love seeing what people are doing uh so first up we have aaron roberts who he didn't actually say where this mini was from so if you know let it let me know i'm always happy to credit those artists uh but uh i just want to give a shout out to aaron um excellent job <laughs> like this is a really good mini and a mini paint um this mini talk about bits and bobs this mini has tons of bits and bobs and I think that he's done an amazing job. Um, oh, it's a Games Workshop Beast of Chaos. Thank you, Dave. So, yeah. I don't know if you just want to give it a little look-see here, Gretchen. But wow. he, he just, I think he did a stand-up job. <laughs> I think he did, too. He looks amazing. <laughs> so, awesome job, Aaron. We enjoy seeing that. Uh, then we have Agerson with a fleet from Firefly, which is super cool because Lucafio had posted these a little while back, their versions of them. And so then we got to see new versions. So I'm enjoying some of the Ooh. paint detailing, especially on the red and the black. That is super nice. And just, yeah, I know that these are not actually that big. Um, so congrats on painting some of those little fine details. Uh, Andrew, next up we have Andrew Smithy Smith, who painted Drizzt and Gunenhaivyar. <laughs> Gwenhara. Um, oh yeah, maybe it's just Gwenavar. Ah, <gasps> I see. Uh, but yeah, so we have, uh, some really nice fantasy mint going along here. I know it's not actually the mini you painted, but you did paint the stone in the background, the one that the animal is on. I agree, Adrian did a nice job. Um, so yeah, I'm enjoying this whole person, this whole landscape. It's kind of cool that the drow also has the white hair and then there's snow down here. So it kind of gives you that circle that Dave talks about in terms yeah. of the eye around which is really nice. 
Then we also have Ashlyn Marie, and she painted up a Macross. And I don't remember, this is just, uh, I just take what the people post and put them on the photo. So uh, Ashlyn was asking, do you remember Love VF1A from Minitech? No, <laughs> but this looks awesome. <laughs> And I don't know if you can see, but they um, actually did some like detail painting on this button over here, right here. And then also there is a skull and crossbones. So great job, really clean, especially with the white and then the black. Oh, do you remember Love was a Macross movie? was the name of the movie. Ha 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 ha. I'm learning. Every day I'm learning. Yes, I agree, Dave. A very clean job that Ashlyn did. Then we also have Ben Fail, who painted uh, that mini on Friday, the like last week, basically. So this is looking epic. Awesome. Uh, question mark. What is that creature that he's riding? Is it a mole rat? <laughs> like it kind of <laughs> looks like a rat. <laughs> but I'm really enjoying the purple skin tone. And then that uh, contrasts well with the green skin tone. And this mini is just looking really good. Some of the rust on the um, kill a boss on great gnashed off. Dang. I don't know how to pronounce these names. Dave isn't here to save us. <laughs> no, but it looks great. I'm enjoying the warm tone. Nash tooth. Nash tooth. Nash your teeth. Nash, Nash tooth. Nash tooth. Thank you. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm going with anyway. I think that works. But great job, um, Ben. This is looking really sweet. And uh, I'm excited to see this guy alongside some of the i'm actually excited to see what if when you finish up the uh the base kind of see what you did i assume you're not finished with the base but then we have clive mills with a bahir from whiz kids which is this really weird creature that i don't know has like horns or something but yeah it's a really nice clean blue and some really um i see some highlighting or dry brushing on the back with some white and that looks really nice. Uh, Dusty Dunn, who actually Dusty uh, posted up like a video of them unboxing Bones, Reaper Bones 5. So if anyone's interested to see that, you can just check in the group. And um, it, he posted up his unboxing for those minis which is great so uh he also has painted up some of these spirits this green color very interesting okay. and i'm enjoying uh some of the dry brush work i assume on the spirit on the outsides of them we also have gavin williams this is take on Elias Decour. Mm. So speaking of Warhammer, here's some bits and bobs, mini. <laughs> yeah, and I think Gavin has done a really good job with the rust and bringing that rust up onto the shoes and also the... Um, the cloth, the tabard, I guess that's what you would call it. But in general, I'm really enjoying the color of the uh, silver. I'm sure it's just like tinny tin or something, but I like the way that it contrasts the red because the red has really deep shadows as well. All right. I have... I've done something here. Yes. 
I'm going to send a picture via my phone so that you can see it better with the lighting. Okay. Um, because I, I don't know if I accomplished the, the assignment, uh, set out, but, but I've accomplished something in this, uh, in this moment. I, I, something, something's happened here. I'll I'll let everyone else decide. Um, okay. How they so how Gretchen's they feel about going this. to send us a picture, a little update of uh, what her mini looks like, which sounds good. We also have Greg Hogan, who pulled all all the stops recently with the cruel boy killer boss, looking awesome. I'm loving the green skin. And look, Gretchen, it has the Disney evil colors. Yes. The villain covers colors. Excuse me. We know it's a villain because of the purple and the green. <laughs> and that's why, okay, literally that happened in one of the Loki episodes. It was like, is it the fourth one that you meet the... Um, it's the most current one is where you actually get introduced. I've only seen the end credits where you get where you see everyone in their other costume. Right, but you you meet the like time lords. Time you meet the time yes, lords. Yes, yes, and yes. like one of them's purple, one of them's green, and then the other one's like a blue color. And it, when it like went from the purple and green one, I was like, Well, we definitely know they're <laughs> evil. <laughs> and then okay. there's also like red light in the background. Anyway, it was good stuff. <laughs> okay, Liana, I have sent I have sent um my portrait of Jeff Goldblum in um, whatever scale this dinosaur is. Oh, that's <laughs> um, awesome. Do you want me to Jeff show Goldblum, it now or? You could show it now. Yeah. I'm not touching it. This is as good as it's getting. This cool. is. Um, <laughs> we'll this come is back to the, than uh... my pinky nail. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, Actually, I think this one's better. Nope, goes the other one. All right, everyone, are you ready? Ba -da 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 -da. You asked for this. Here we go. You asked and you received. I'm just zooming up on it so then, then <laughs> you, can, you can see it. Um, but yeah, I think this looks great. Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. This looks super great. And it really does look like the one he's in Jurassic Park. Um, yes, amazing. It looks so good. Claps in the chat. Woo! What would it, what would it's it mean cutie mark. if your cutie mark was a Jeff Goldblum? Does it what mean it... you're like super suave? I don't know. You're good at piano <laughs> randomly? <laughs> Just chaos theory your way through life. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, this looks awesome. Very good. Uh, yeah, that's as that's as good as it's getting. That right there. That is that's my skill level. <laughs> Very nice. Jeff would love it. Yes, I agree. Jeff would love it. I'll have it. to tag his uh tag him and his wife in it on uh Instagram. When I, because they, they they are active on Instagram. His wife teaches yoga, actually. Okay. It's really cool. That's yeah, cool. she's a dancer, and she he's not active on Instagram, but his wife is super active on Instagram. So like you tag both, and then she'll yeah. tell them. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be like, oh, well, actually, my fiance did just get an Instagram, but yeah, it'd be the same thing. Just like, hey, <laughs> that's perfect. Uh, very nice, very nice indeed. I agree. All right, let's. Do you want to run through the rest of these minis? Yes, let's do it. Okay, so we have Greg, which we've decided. Great job. Does look like a villain. Classic villain. Really enjoying all the detail work, bits and bobs, um, and the like deep rust color on his. We have Jason, who had painted up a WizKids Young Remoraz, which was uh, you were working on last week, right, Jason? Or two weeks ago. And now it looks like it's done with the rad colors. <laughs> 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 I 
I love it. That's awesome. Josh Parker painted up my their players' minis and their barrel of mead that they purchased to poison a group of goblins. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's funny. When your party does stuff and you're like, fine, guys, I will paint a mini for you. <laughs> like, guys, how are we going to infiltrate this goblin? Oh, we're going to give them mead, but then we're going to poison it. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> no, these look great, though. I'm sure your party will really appreciate that. And I'm loving this uh, wizard who also has, like, purple and gold. Love it. And this other guy definitely looks straight out of an anime. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. <laughs> right right here. Scared. With, like, the gray and the way that he's standing, he looks like he just, like, did a backflip and is, like, that's his, he's getting ready to strike. No, but these look great. And you even painted the bases, which is really cool as well. Uh, this is Josh Potter's mini, um, which is looking really good. I, I really like the blue contrast that you used uh, on the plated metal. I think that that actually brings out a lot in it and makes it really distinct from the leather and also the gold. It really does. That texture on the leather against the texture of the metal is a really nice contrast of texture. Yeah. Yeah, so he's he's looking like a swell little guy. Also, he has a huge stort. <laughs> you know, but he's not using it poorly. So no, he know. had a good he had a good, you know. He had good form. He had good form. He had compare like comparative to half the minis I've seen. Right. Good on him. <laughs> so we have JT with a pass completed Scribus Wretch. This guy. Talk about bits and bobs. Oh my goodness. Is this an abacus? It's like an abacus of skulls. Okay. That's intense. <laughs> That's hilarious. And also amazing. And he has this pen that he's in writing in blood. No, I mean. So this that's what haunts you in your final semester of college. Yes, actually. <laughs> That's so true. No, I'm really liking this. Also, JT, I like that you used the, like the white of the parchment paper is kind of like your light, but then the medium tone is this like red rust color. Also the purple, but like the red, ready rust is like your mid tone. It really, it's very, uh, it really brings it all together because it, it's cool that it's not on it's kind of sporadic throughout your mini and then also on the abacus. So awesome job. Woo. We have Liam with a mini and the law, he said. Yeah, no, this is just a swell, super solid paint job. So like this mini, when people, when Dave talks about like paint in the lines, I feel like this mini is very much that. <laughs> <laughs> Very tidy. Uh, super tidy. Obviously, there is highlighting and shading going on here, which brings it out in the picture as well. But like from a distance, because it's so tidy, it's it's very readable. I am the law. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Philip Dixon with a oh, can't pronounce that. It's the one of those creatures, Axothel Archer from Dice Heads. It's like those little. I know exactly creatures. what you're talking about, but only Dave could pronounce it last time on the show. Yeah, axopple, axopple. <laughs> I'll say it in axopple. Australian accent. Axopple. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, Philip, every time I hear it, I'm like, yes, that is how you pronounce it. Yeah. Dread, uh, excuse me, uh, Philip. I really like what Philip's doing. Uh, also, they had commented that this is uh, going to be submitted to a competition, which is really cool. Um, and they were asking like, hey, what what could I do to kind of bring this to the next level? Um, so do you have any thoughts, Gretchen? Honestly, I am absolutely loving the color scheme of this because um, it has that very underwater kind of uh, vibe to it. I might okay. play with the contrast a little bit. 
to try yeah. to make those colors pop a little more. Um, but I mean, honestly, you, you've done a really good job. Everything flows really nicely. Nothing is clashing. You have the blue from the um, from the head of the creature. <laughs> I'm just gonna avoid saying, <laughs> um, butchering yeah. the pronunciation of that word. But you've got the the head of the creature is the is a beautiful shade of blue with those nice, beautiful um, contrasting yellow highlights, um, and then. A, the blue goes down through the suit down to that coral at the bottom. And then you see that yellow mirrored in the hands as well as in the bow. Um, so I think that you have a really good grasp on using that color theory to your best advantage. And honestly, I would just, you know, work on anything that you feel needs to be touched up on, touch up on it, but don't overwork something past the point of what's good. Yeah, I would agree with that. I think maybe if you wanted to, you could think about like, do I want to make the eye re pronounce? Like where I want the viewer to look first and then just spend more detailed time on that. Because I agree with you, Gretchen, like in general, this is a really quality mini in. Um, I know a lot of, it's like the standard when you see other competition minis, like they'll have, their shadows really far down and then they'll bring their highlights really far up so potentially you could push like your highlights a little bit but it's all not bad we are right now um, and honestly i think a really good trick would be you know place it down take some time away from it and then look back at it with fresh eyes from a few steps away true yeah because we're gonna get caught up Okay. <laughs> oh no, I was going to say, or take like a couple more photos of it from different angles and then to figure out like how the judges are going to look at it. Um, mm -hmm. So, because I know some people do just paint for, um, for the photo as well. <laughs> Where like, if you turn it a certain way, that's when you'll see like the light highlight that they put on there. So, but yeah, it's looking really good. And I really like the colors in this. I agree. There's something about these pink straps and these orange, um, like, belt things that I just really love. It's all, I'm fun it. I'm wearing pink right now, so. <laughs> <laughs> then we have Roger Moore with uh, Monumental Heroes, I, Albert Einstein, Thomas Jefferson, and Nikola Tesla. Which is nice. These are looking good. Congrats, Roger, on your progress for Monumental, slowly making your way through. I These are got so interrupted by a cat. So. Oh, yeah, no problem. <laughs> Some key said, a very electric group. Yes, I agree. <laughs> it's electric. No, it's great. Sean with some epic 40k knights, squat land train, and termites. Yeah, no, these look great, Sean. Um, I'm really loving the 40k knights. They reflect your other, um, the other pictures that you've showed us. I'm pretty sure they do. The red and the yellow, the red, gold, and yeah. checkered. What's the, I want to know what the, is that an F or is that a symbol or is that, what is on the back there? Is that an is that arrow? Yeah. Sean, let us know. What's this? <laughs> What's this on the back? It's here? very clean. Like it's done, if it's lettering or rune work or like it's a very cleanly done detail. So I feel like it's important. It's F for Sean. <laughs> no, I'm just <laughs> Yeah, no, these are great. And it's great because you've been able to play, uh, you had said. So hopefully you were able to get these out on the table sometime soon. It's a Norse F rune. Yep, that's what I thought. For fun. <laughs> or fear. <laughs> or, you know, just other F words. <laughs> Stacy uh, has these half dead, half alive. I mean, I guess they're all dead horses. <laughs> I don't know. 
They're definitely I'm all dead, dead but they're, they're fleshy. They're, they're zombie horses. <sighs> and yeah, I really love Stacy's uh, paintwork. Stacy has a really good job with creating, I feel like, a lot of drama. That's a horse of a different color. Ha 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 ha. Yes. <laughs> no, you can't eat that. Gretchen's cat is eating paint. It's all good. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Uh, he tried to eat the... Every time I paint minis, he is invested in helping. And then uh, lastly, we have uh, Tim Patterson. I... What right, Tim? Is that your full name? Yes. So I just grabbed this because you said you paste posted it. So just grab this for you. <laughs> That's why your name's not on the bottom. Um, but yeah, no, this is looking good. And we were talking about a uh, 40k that has lots of bips, or that maybe doesn't have as ton as many bits and bobs. I think these still have a lot of bits and bobs, so. Aldari Harlequins. Yeah, no, these are looking great. Not gonna lie, I like seeing bright colors on some 40K minis. It's not every day that you get to see all of the bright colors, and I, for one, want to see more. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Well, thank you, everybody, for uh, posting and commenting in the group. Um, it was really fun to see what people are working on and what they're all up to. So be sure if you enjoy mini painting that you join us throughout the week and post there, uh, ask questions if you have any. And um, yeah, it's a good, it's a good community. Someone in the chat was like, I love that group. And it's a very nice group. So don't be afraid to just post what you're working on at any time. No Oh, see you, JT. Thanks for joining. Have see a good you, one. We'll be back in studio next week, so that will be nice. Hopefully painting up some weird miniatures. Ooh. Um, W-Y-R-D. And that will be nice. Oh, Tim said, paint, hand painting yellow and purple diamonds is something I will never do again. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> that is very fair. Doing I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this guy. Honestly, quite pleasantly pleased with uh how this guy's turning out. That's good. He's coming together. He's coming together. I mean, I've got the yellow on the sail now. He's nice. definitely not wearing gray anymore. You didn't even tell him blue. <laughs> yeah, he's blue. I like his fins or whatever they're called. His spines. His spine, his sail, his fin, whatever you want to call it. He's a Spinosaurus. So. Jeff Goldblum wasn't even in the movie that he was in, but that's okay. He How was fair. there. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yeah, he's coming together. Yeah, so interesting, Tim. Last, I don't know if you were here, but Dave was painting um, a Hawaiian shirt hand painted. And um, yeah, that was interesting. I think he will also not be trying. I think at the end, wasn't it last week? Didn't he kind of mention like he doesn't want to <laughs> do a Hawaiian shirt ever again? We <laughs> were like, oh, well, Dave. Like, that was fun, but also I don't really ever want to do this because um, I think you start off thinking it's going to be easier. And it might be the case for diamonds, but it's it's deceivingly simple where you think, oh, I'll just paint some flowers on a base color. And then it, no. And then you have to keep working at it to really define it because it's so simple. Your brain is like, no, you got to fix it. 
Uh, no pink or purple belly, question mark. I'm, I'm adding the pink in. I'm adding it. I'm getting there. I'm adding it on the sale. It doesn't want to, the pink that I have is not playing nice with the yellow that I have. Um, oh, oh. I don't know if it's because of the textures or if I'm just speed painting too much because that happens on this show. Um, right. We don't really have dry time, so. Right. You need a little fan, a little dusk fan. Yeah. And actually at the studio, we now do have fans just to cool you off, but also like it kind of is helpful because then your minis dry faster, question mark? <laughs> I don't know if that's true. <laughs> if you thought I just they actually cold. do. Oh, I'm you do get cold? cold? I'm cold all the time. <laughs> that's not oh, the studio, okay. that's just me. <laughs> gotcha, that's fair. Yes, your chat is full of fans. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Lovely. So yeah, we're going to be painting up some weird miniatures that I have to put together. If anyone has tips or tricks on how to put together those guys, let me know. Because <laughs> all I got to say is my fingers were having, I tried to do a couple the other week and my fingers were just filled with, um, covered in super glue because I'm not exactly very good at assembling. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, we're not. Yeah, we're, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> we have. Um, I forget the two factions that we we have. Get glue with a brush. I could use a brush. Is that what you're saying? I could use a brush actually. To like paint on the glue, instead. My whole thing is like, how do people get? The minis to stay. Okay, I swear Dave has like a magic touch with super glue. Okay, so super glue pots have a brush. Gotcha. Tamiya thin cement. Patience. I have very few weird miniatures on my desk. I have a few weird miniatures on my desk. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm noticing a lot of patience. I don't think I have that. And that's and that's what um because this is all to say, I don't wait long enough for the glue to dry and then I move and then the mini falls apart. And then I, you know, say some choice words and <laughs> try and re-glue it. But then there's glue all over my fingers because I like let it fall apart. And like now the glue is everywhere. Pin the miniature, yeah. That would require doing things before the show, much more before the show. <laughs> Patience and pop possibly an accelerant spray. Yeah, I, you know, that might be smart to look into. Is an accelerant, are you just meaning like when you spray the um, like cold air? Is that what you mean? Or is it like something separate? Use a little blue tack on the end of a pencil to hold small bits. No need to pin thick if you use plastic cement. Okay. We do actually have plastic cement. Do we? We do, yeah. No, it's a separate thing that causes glue to dry faster. Oh, okay, cool. I'll have to look into that. The more you know. Yeah, I was talking about the accelerant spray stuff. Um, but it smells horrible. I'm sure it does. <laughs> yeah. And honestly, all the glues smell horrible. <laughs> That's why you really do need a fan <laughs> when you glue it all together so you're not like going crazy, or at least I feel like. So what do people think? Should I do like a couple figure, like human figures, and then a couple like not humanoid figures for Dave and Gretchen? What should we do? I wish I remembered the name of the factions. What are you challenging me with next Thursday? <laughs> I wish I remember the name of the functions and I I think I actually could find it. Thursday, I had to draw Jeff Goldblum. Next Thursday, who knows? I'm just going to try and see if I can 
Okay. Okay, I won't be doing that. Never mind. <laughs> weird and wacky for them. Just get weird with the figures. Okay. I think the accelerant is really only baking soda dissolved in water. Oh, really? Great. I've seen that used as well. Oh, sweet. Well, ta. I have baking soda. All the good smelling glues are illegal now. Yes, that is true. <laughs> for good reason. Aha. Ah, Yeah, no, that sounds good. I'll try and do a couple figures, and then I'll also try and do a couple, um, like, interesting creatures. Because uh, Weird is the one that had the, like, down by, I don't know if you remember, Gretchen, we painted, like, the bayou people. Yes, I remember like, them. The frog people, How but then I there was, like, a big hall too. So their, their sets always have, like, creatures that go into, or factions but then there's usually like an animal or something or some sort of motor device or whatever they have a lot of minis in there that's all i gotta say i pulled out the <laughs> box thing and i was like oh gosh do i have to assemble all of these Wah. it's all good so uh do people have any um mini painting questions that we can ask Dave next week. <laughs> <laughs> if I so, might be for some. Yeah? Yeah, maybe. Depends. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. True, true, true. That you can answer right now. Sean was saying, I use Lochte Super Glue Gel. That works well. And probably the safer option is with the baking soda. Yeah, that's what I was realizing when you're calling it accelerant spray. I'm like, that sounds like mad wizard stuff. I'll just use baking soda. <laughs> Which is kind of like a mad wizard, you know, put some vinegar on it, bubbles, science. Ask Dave about that. Okay, I will. I will. Do, 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 do. I did get pink on here with the yellow. Oh, awesome. Or my friend asking about pink and yellow. There is pink and yellow. Pink is more subtle, but it's there. <laughs> Baking soda just makes it a Mr. Wizard. James, are you asking what was the super glue used for that I was talking about? I was just talking about putting miniatures together. Or is that a question for Dave in general? Someone's playing games in the background. <laughs> my surprise guest, my fiance. <laughs> um what is what is he watching he's not watching anything he's playing games i was gonna say yeah that sounds more like game time he's a gamer and his um his games are in the basement um <laughs> no problem my my uh a while back i just remember my younger brother playing video games and dang he could get so riled up with his friends. But this was also like just at the beginning of COVID because I went back home to visit family. And um, I did, I was kind of happy. I was happy. I was like, well, at least he can get together with his friends and they can all <laughs> play games together, <laughs> even though they're separated. Yeah. Oh, are you saying James is asking what was super? first used for i'm pretty sure it was medical right it was to put your skin back on your skin <laughs> um i don't know That's how. The answer to that but i do know i have super glued my skin to my skin yeah so. <laughs> i'm pretty sure super glue was like a military medical thing and it was where you know if you're in the field you can easily like you know dress wounds faster yep 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 yes it was yep or doodle Fun facts. And that's mm -hmm. like um, 
you know the stuff, what is that called? Mineral ice? I don't know if you know the origin of that, but that was, uh, mineral ice is, was originally used on racehorses because they huh. would put it on their muscles and then it would like, you know, relax and decompress them and make them feel better. And then they were like, hey, maybe we can make this for humans. <laughs> And they just like changed it a little bit, made it like FDA approved or whatever. And yeah, now we use mineral ice. <laughs> That's funny. But originally it was for racehorses. And so every time I use mineral ice, I just feel like racehorse, except that's not usually what I'm feeling like. My back hurts. Oh, it was just learning fun facts. Oh Honestly, you don't even want to get me started. I know way too many random facts that are so not useful. Because I also like to watch documentaries on my free time. It's just a bad combination. <laughs> Apparently, the super glue was to dry skin super fast, which makes sense. Makes sense. So I think uh, this evening we're going to wrap up a little early and um, All right. sign off. But I didn't know, Gretchen, if you wanted to just give us like one last. I, I will. Uh, and I will I will take pictures. Uh, I'll put pictures of him up like tomorrow. OK, cool. Um, when there's daylight, take pictures. Yeah, but that's fair. This this is my that's my guy. This is my nice. Oh, I love him. My little repaint. Dang, that repaint came out really good. <laughs> and see, there's, there's pink in there at the base of that spine. There's technically pink in there by his belly as well. You just can't see it as well in this lighting. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then there's the yellow, and then there's the blue, and then there's Jeff Goldblum. Right and I there. I love his cutie mark. Like, that's such a great, what a great, like, collaboration. Like, <laughs> There he is. You guys, you guys chose it. I did it. Done. <laughs> Dinosaurs, Dinosaurs are, are magic. Dinosaurs <laughs> are magic. That is awesome. Well, thank you everyone for joining us this evening. A little different. We had, you know, hobby hangout. Also, we had Joe. Make sure you check out Joe's work and everything. I put that in the chat earlier. And then um, also, if you are interested, join our mini painting group that is painting happy little minis on Facebook. And we will add you. Make sure you're posting in there, checking in there, mm -hmm. and uh, just enjoying the different mini painting th things that people are doing. And next week, we will be back in the studio. Woohoo! Woo! Dave will be with us. It will be great and lots of fun. And we'll be painting up some weird miniatures. So. How does that I sound? Love so weird minis because I, I, I don't think of it as like a brand. I think of it as like weird minis. Like I feel like they do that on purpose. <laughs> yeah. But so they, thank you to everyone who was watching and thank you to Gretchen for hanging in there, being our, you know, <laughs> guinea pig that we just helped you paint your mini basically. You know, we chose some of the colors and did the Jeff Gold you know what? I love it when people give me weird things to paint I <laughs> good time <laughs> all right um, everyone yeah. have a good evening and we will see you all next week bye